just uh, thinking during the during the uh, scripture about uh, what happened six years ago already on this week. Uh, Pope Benedict surprised everybody by announcing that he was resigning. He was the first pope in over 600 years to uh, to do so, and now he lives in a little cottage in the Vatican Gardens behind St. Peter's, and uh, the Swiss guards were telling us one day that uh, he can barely walk, and he has uh, lost the sight in one eye, and he's very fragile, but what he does every afternoon is he gets in a golf cart, and he goes over to the little Lord's Grotto, and, uh, and there prays the rosary at 3.30 every day, and then he goes back to his, uh, to his little cottage uh, where he lives, and it's amazing. he's 92, I think, now. So uh, I was thinking about, about uh, him because it's this week that he surprised the, the whole world. Uh, so what's going on? People are blindly stepping into moving traffic. They're bumping into walls and plate glass windows. They're riding bikes blindfolded and crashing into light poles and fire hydrants. Are you aware of any of this? They have two perfectly good eyes, but they're intentionally depriving themselves of sight. And why do they do this? They may be, uh, they may be uh, doing this because they watched a film, The Bird Box, on Netflix that was viewed by 45 million people on November, the week of November the 12th when it was released. And uh, it's the largest one week audience in the history of Netflix. In the film, the mom played by Sandra Bullock and a boy and girl wear masks to avoid laying eyes on these monsters that when, when, uh, when you see them with your eyes, they compel you to go and commit suicide. Now people around the globe are imitating these characters and they're walking around blindfolded. It's one of these crazes that comes from the internet. Uh, I'm a big fan of the digital continent. Pope Benedict uh, used to say uh, the, the internet, uh, social media, are powerful tools for communication and that this digital continent needs to be evangelized. So if you go on Family Rosary site, you'll see that we have more than 1,517,261 friends of uh, Family Rosary. Our Rosary app on iTunes has 1,975,588 downloads. Altogether, our digital audience for the last quarter counts more than 4,319,003 participants. Uh, that's not to speak about Catholic Mom, the, the, the reach that they have of hundreds of thousands of people that follow them online, and also Family Theater, which also has, has several million people, views of their, of their programs, Catholic Central and others. This homily itself will be viewed by people in the United States, in India, in the Philippines, in uh, East Africa, in Brazil, Wherever there is access to the internet, it's available online. In today's gospel, the blind man is taken by the hand of Jesus, who leads him outside the village. And there, Jesus places spittle on the man's eyes and lays hands on him. And then he asks him if he can see. First, the blind man says, yes, I can see, but I see indistinctly. People look like walking trees. And then the good Lord lays his hands on him a second time. And the man says, I can see clearly. Social media are a way for us to, to see a world that is beyond our, our present reality. It's a powerful force in our world today. We know that these many platforms can be very destructive. However, these same digital platforms are used to bring the good news around the world the news of the power of family prayer to bless and strengthen the peace and unity in families. So do not blindfold yourself with lies, but rather allow the Lord to let your family see the truth, the beauty, 
and the goodness of the Lord Jesus and of Mother Mary and of the Catholic Church. These great blessings to all of us and especially to our families. Mm -hmm.